Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Huck Wolens Equipment. Today's video, we're going to be bringing you how to properly tie down your BX23S on a trailer. And in today's video, you're going to be seeing uh, John Sweeney, our regular uh, delivery gentleman, uh, strapping down the BX, getting everything ready, and then I'll just bring you a few hints and pointers about how to properly tie it down. So let's jump right to it. So to give a little bit of background on the trailer we have with us today is uh, it's a custom trailer for Huckabone's equipment. Uh, it's an, uh, the base trailer is an AWL 1400 uh, from Weber Lane that we've added a uh, few extra options to to, to customize it for our de our deliveries. In general, whenever you're looking to move around your BX, uh, we strongly recommend getting a 14 foot. You're inside the trailer, not uh, having the bucket outside or uh, or the back or the back kind of idea. So so whenever you're looking for a trailer for a BX 23S is uh, at minimum, you can go as 12 foot, but a comfortable size one is, is a 14 foot that you'll want um, that way. Again, some of the special features for this trailer for us is you'll see a nice push bar at the front, all aluminum body, uh, which is good for uh, having a little bit more carrying capacity on that. And then we have a couple extra tie downs as well as heavier axles in there uh, to kind of specialize for these smaller smaller pieces of equipment that we move around on our delivery truck that way. So uh, now let's talk about how we actually have this unit strapped down. So starting at the front, it's always recommended to put a strap over the bucket, especially if you have a skid steer quick attach. Um, again, the odds of that skid steer quick attach coming off and that bucket causing issues are pretty well zero, but it is always good uh, and legal to have uh, a strap over the bucket. Again, if it's pin on, you don't have to have it, uh, but it does help. Uh, moving a little bit further back for your front axles, you're always gonna want two straps there, not one single one pulling through. through. You want two separate ones uh, and onto the frame itself. So there's a couple different spots you could do it at. Uh, you know, in and around that grill guard's great area. Um, and then after that, they do have a few holes under here that you can uh, attach a strap or a chain to. And again, John uh, has a few different ways of doing it, but he really likes having the chain ends here, you know, into the pocket instead of putting the strap right to it. It gives a little bit more flex and give uh, whenever you're going over rough roads, especially as we're into the spring and it's pothole season here in Canada. Uh, so let's move to the back and show you what we got uh, for the back for strapping it down. Two straps on the back here for the for the rear end of the BX23S. Again, Kubota's done a nice job. Uh, they know that these machines are moved quite a bit, so they have a couple of welds on there uh, that you run your strap hook onto. Um, and again, they're right here on either side. So whether you bring the strap back to a D-ring or you know drop it into one of the pockets there, uh, either way is going to work fine for you. You always do want to have it pulling back, not straight out. It can cause some issues. It doesn't really pull it one way or the other if you're going straight out with it. So, and again, you can crisscross. It's not an issue that way, depending on what you what you like most or what how long the straps you have. And again, you don't want just one single strap uh, doing both pull down areas. So, and then, then moving a little bit further back here, you'll see one nice strap over the over the back of the bucket or the rear of it, uh, again, to stop any swinging. And again, there is a nice pinch point back here. So you'll see that we have a nice piece of rubber uh, there. Again, it serves two functions, being a pinch point, you don't want it to wear onto the strap, cause any scratching on your new BX23S. And again, that goes for the flip side of whenever you're moving it around, it's always handy to have a piece of rubber in there uh, to really help uh, not scratch, or if you're gonna see some wear uh, on a sharp area, uh, that it's gonna be a piece of rubber and not your nice new strap uh, that's gonna be torn. So nice and simplistic, uh, again, uh, hopefully that brought you a few pointers of how to strap down your BX23S on the rear part. Uh, so that brings us to the end of today's video. To recap is trailer-wise, you're going to be looking for a 14 footer, uh, five to six foot wide. Uh, again, with a single axle, more than likely at uh, 3,500 pound axle. Uh, and again, this particular trailer is uh, 14 feet long, uh, aluminum with a tandem because we move quite a bit, quite a few different makes and models with it. But again, you're going to want uh, between four to six straps on there. Uh, again, two on the front, two on the back, and then optional for bucket and backhoe after that so so hopefully that brought you a few tips and tricks on what you, uh, what to do on strapping your bx23s down there because you want to do it safely not just for yourself but the people around you on the road so if you enjoyed today's video please like and subscribe and if you have any comments please leave them below thank you